Hey, what's up guys? It's the last week's party here and in today's video we have a Arizona replay. One of you fellow awesome peoples uh, requested this ship seems like a long time ago but uh, I think it was just a few weeks ago and so I decided to take it upon myself and play my Arizona because honestly I haven't played it a whole lot and I haven't played it in a while and certainly uh, it does take a nice uh, Nice break from all the higher tier battleship gameplay that we have on our channel. A lot of T8, T9, T10 battleships, so it's nice in that respect as well. Before we get too in-depth the, into the replay, I do want to first mention that I also mentioned this on stream, so if uh, you may already know this, but uh, we are actually going to be launching a, our streaming uh, Twitch channel. So again, link's in the description. Uh, it's BIA underscore World of Warships. Um, yep, so that's what it is on Twitch. So again, links in the description. Go check it out. Uh, again, if you've watched our streams before, you know that we stream Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, on Tuesday, we stream from uh, 5 p.m. Eastern to, to 9 p or 6 p.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. Eastern, and then on Thursday, we stream from 1 p.m. Eastern to 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, that's our typical streaming schedule, and that will continue onto Twitch. However, we'll also looking to expand on the weekends as well uh, don't have set schedules yet but we will in the future so please give us a follow on twitch and please do share this uh, video wherever you see fit so with that out of the way let's get back into replay one of the main reasons why I like uh, I wouldn't say main reason but one of the secondary reasons why I like the Arizona a lot is that it does get this nice spotter plane by default um, so it takes pretty abysmal range overall and makes it pretty good. Now I do have to say that I typically don't run these on my higher tier battleships, so my use and accuracy with them is not always the best, as you can see right here. That's ooh, that was kind of bad. Um, but in any case, uh, I'm going to try to take advantage of it. It's nice to use at the beginning of the game. Uh, just to get some quick cheap damage off uh, some battleships that aren't paying attention, sailing broadside, because uh, they're not expecting a a uh, Arizona to be shooting at them from 18-ish kilometers. Because at the lower tier and even some mid-tier battleships, uh, for the U.S. battleships rather, uh, they are generally spotted before they are able to engage a target, or it's it's going to be very very close that. That uh, that delta or that that change in uh, distance. So uh, that is a bit of a surprise to a lot of people when they see some uh, American battleship shells coming in at them from a long ways away. So if you m look at the mini map, you can very easily see that our team is completely going to um, uh, the east side. I think that is. Um, so, I, I believe that's A. I can't actually see that. It's a little bit, everything's a little small for me right now on the mini map. Um, but we're going uh, to the right side, uh, respective, in, with respect to the way I'm facing right now. Um, but I'm actually going to go into B. And I'm doing this because I want to, really. That's all I, that's literally the reason. No, of course that's not the reason. The reason I'm going into B is I don't want to go to the right side of the map because by the time I get there, I'm a slow American battleship. By the time I get there, all the action is going to be gone and a lot of people are actually going to die at B. So I that is my main goal at this point. Uh, go to B, support my team at B, and uh, hold B for our team. So uh, by the time everyone from A, I, I'm assuming that's A, uh, on the right side of the map is... Uh, is there uh, it gets to be then uh, you know we'll have full control of it and uh, it'll be a nice uh, nice easy win hopefully uh, as you can see uh, the Fuso he did take a lot of damage already so I'm gonna try and relieve him of some of that um, but there's two ways to go into B from this north spawn it, there was there's one channel the way that I'm going right now, and there's another main channel uh, just my right um, where that cruiser is now. 
uh, those are the two main channels if you're on the north side if you're on the south side um, it's around I believe G G6 and F7 those are the two main areas that you would go go through um, but again you can certainly go in but those are the those are the areas that I find most people going and most effective uh, for being being able to both retreat and also uh, have very good firing angles and keeping all your targets in front of you so you can angle against a lot of targets uh, with ease so I'm trying to get into the smoke uh, which I just successfully have done there and what I'm also going to be doing uh, since an enemy destroyer just got spotted is I'm going to be trying to keep this island between me and the rest of the team because as you can see I am actually one of the most forward ships uh, on our team uh, at the moment so again do have to be careful with that destroyer in the area I'm going to sit behind this island and I'm not going to attempt to round the corner because A, that means that the battleships will be shooting at me and B, uh, the Minakazi will most likely be dropping some torpedoes which, uh, yeah, it's probably a bad, bad move on my part if I do such a thing. Uh, Fuso sitting broadside, a nice almost 15k right there. Uh, but I'm going to be slowly moving forward because it looks like the enemy battleships are moving out now. And this is going to be a lot of a lot of games being played by me and their battleships. I'm going to be stopping and then moving forward a little bit. And they're going to be doing the same thing. They're going to be mirroring me or I'm going to be mirroring them. Uh, just this little hide and go seek or, or peek boo sort of, sort of tactics. So Mirakazi is actually pulled back. I shoot some shells at him. Unfortunately, none of them are able to hit because Mitakazi is so small and so low to the water. However, the rear turrets are going to do their job. A nice four and a half, uh, almost uh, 4.1k uh, damage to that guy. Have to angle against four battleships, five battleships actually. Is that, that looks like five. Um, so it is not going to be the hardest, it's not going to be the easiest task in the world, but it certainly can be done. Um... By the way, I also installed, I think I'm going to be continuing to do this whenever the mod is available. But as you can see in the left hand corner, uh, just just slightly above and to the right of my ship um, and my health bar, you can see uh, that I've got a ship angle indicator. Um, I personally don't use it all that much for my gameplay because I can usually tell uh, again, you can get all this information from the minimap, so you can't always uh, exactly see uh, what angle someone's at. Uh, of course, it's not too difficult, uh, but it does give a nice solid uh, number or rough estimate as to what their angle is relative to you and what your angle is relative to your selected target. Uh, so it's nice, and I think I think you guys guys will like it as well because it'll give you guys a little bit better of an idea of how I'm angling, how to angle, and how uh, how to shoot and where to shoot given a target's uh, speed and direction. Because all of those things actually greatly do affect the uh, chances of your shell getting uh, getting hit. Because if if they're Sailing broadside, it's a completely different story uh, in terms of where you a where you aim. If they're uh, compared to if they're sailing at like a sixty degree angle to you, so uh, that that is something to, that uh, I'm going to probably gonna continue with doing um, just just to aid you guys and to see how I'm aiming. Uh, but again, with that out of the way, a uh, little bit of a tangent. I'm going to be shooting at this New Mexico, he's sitting broadside, something you don't want to be doing in an American battleship at 10, 11 kilometers, and we can see why, uh, that's a citadel for sure. Knocked down almost half of his health, and this is this is the prime, if you're wondering how to play American battleships, how to play the Arizona, how to play New York, how to play New Mexico, get within 12 kilometers. That is where you're going to be most effective. I know it does have a long reload, 32 seconds is quite long, but... Uh, you're slow enough where it actually kind of benefits you because you don't go in too fast. So 
it's good in that respect. But it can also be the death of you. Uh, disengaging uh, very slowly can have its downsides. Uh, it always has its downsides, it seems. But this is the this is the uh, this is the distance you want to be shooting at and firing at and engaging at. Uh, just because uh, things like if you compare the New York a tier five American battleship to a Congo uh, tier five Japanese battleship, the New York has ten guns versus the uh, Congo's eight guns. So naturally, you're going to be you're going to be landing more shells. You might not be more accurate. Your, your dispersion might not be better, um, but certainly you are putting more shells downrange, which does it, it doesn't really increase your accuracy but the chances of hitting your shells quote unquote your accuracy um that actually does improve the closer you get obviously um so 12 kilometers is a good range and again from my personal experience of playing the game and others personal experience playing the game 12 ish kilometers seems like the perfect range for plunging fire i know a lot of people's conception of plunging fire is that it's from much farther away like 16 17 kilometers this was this still is mine it just makes more sense um because 12 kilometers does seem rather close uh, but this is actually some of the best ranges to play at especially for plunging fire uh however most of the time you want to be aiming right at the citadel right at the waterline uh, again assuming perfect broadsides so uh, our Nicholas buddy was nice enough to lay us a smoke screen, although we are still getting spotted. He did not. Uh, he did something very, very nice for us, and give us some sort of, some sort of concealment so we can hide behind before he ate a Matakazi's torpedo. Again, another New Mexico sitting broadside. Although I only had three, uh, three of my turrets reloaded, um, I still managed to get a citadel and a few penetrations here and there. And I do solid damage. But again, uh, this is another reason why you don't sit broadside. But you can also see why the American battleships are uh, very, very potent at these ranges. Minakazi gets spotted, uh, and I shoot at him. Shells are looking good. So far, so good. But they miss his stern by a small amount. But the Omaha ends up taking him out. Good for him. Uh, nice shot on his part. But Joni, I probably, I said this in the replay cast, um, but I probably could have gotten away with shooting maybe one or two guns there. But I decided to get all three because something about me, I just like sh shooting a full broadside. It, I feel like my shells are more accurate. I feel like I'm doing more with uh, all my shells going out at once rather than all of my shells uh, or part part of my shells going out and then the other part going out a little bit later. Then New Mexico rounds that corner a little earlier than I expected. I turn in and slow down. Something you should pretty much always do when uh, you're fighting battleships or even cruisers in that respect. Slow down, turn in. Uh, this a lot of times throws off their aim and ultimately throws off their shell or their original th shell trajectory. So uh, that's why I do that. And uh, you are actually more likely to get a bounce um, just because when you turn in, the shells are actually coming in at a, a steeper angle relative to your main belt uh, than if you actually turn away, assuming that you were sailing uh, broadside. Um, it's just, just how it works. All right, guys, so looking at the screenshots, we managed to get Dreadnought. 121,000 damage, three citadels, one ship killed, nice credits and XP all around. Team score, uh, top the leaderboard as always, one ship killed, 1520 uh, base experience. Diesel report, you can see uh, damage done, all of my main battery at 2.3 million uh, potential damage. That's a lot for a T6 battleship. Those are uh, T8, T9, T10 battleship numbers. And finally, credits. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video and please consider subscribing. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.